uh, doing the subtraction we have to take the ma- minimum minimum right okay while we doing the addition we have to take the maximum one right so uh, for example uh, here we have to add uh, the data path delay right uh, sorry clock path delay with the hold time so uh, maximum path delay is coming from here to here so we have to consider this one while subtracting the data path delay minimum one we have to take Be- and one more thing here in data sheet they mention that the minimum is 3 nanosecond maximum is 10 so we have to use those things okay next uh, propagation delay minimum and maximum propagation delay is what for clear we have to calculate right so the mi- uh, maximum propagation delay is one uh, first and gate second and gate then flip flop uh, delay right they have mentioned the flip flop delay is from 5 to 15 maximum is 15 propagation delay eh? you have to add those things and minimum is we know uh, we have to take the all the least values now we are going to uh, see the second uh, problem here look at uh, look at here here uh, we are having totally four flip flops uh, first flip flop is having the clock directly second flop is having inverted clock and third flop is again having normal clock and the fourth flip flop having the inverted clock so this is the structure and one more thing in the q3 output is fed back to q0 sorry d0 in the feedback path we are having uh, in the feedback path we are having xor gate in the xor uh, xor gate right xor gate now we are having uh, the data sheet for uh, uh, flip flop inverter and xor gate right so for flip flop propagation delay they mentioned the minimum as well as um, the maximum and for inverter they mentioned uh, minimum and as well as uh, ma- maximum and set up time hold time everything they mentioned now here the question is what determine the minimum clock period for the following circuit use the delay values for the flip flop on the gates so uh, we know that uh, uh, how to calculate the minimum cl- minimum clock period that is nothing but maxi frequency calculation right so how you will calculate here uh, th- uh, totally how many paths are there from register to register one one this is one path right and uh, this is second path it is starting from this point and it is ending here from register to register this is a second path right and similarly here we are having one path that is same as this path q0 between q0 and d0 d1 and the fourth path is this one q3 to d0 okay now we have to calculate the uh, uh, propagation delay for each path and in that which one is maximum we have to consider that one right in this four paths which one is maximum we have to consider this one again i will explain you okay and uh, before that uh, we before we'll proceed with, pro- with this problem we have to consider this two paths first one is work the problem under the assumptions that the clock is symmetrical Clam- clock is symmetrical means on period and off period of that clock is same okay that is what a symmetrical that is it is i for 50 percentage of the clock period and low for 50 percentage of the clock period that is what i have in so first we have to proceed with this and second what they are telling work the problem under the assumptions that the clock is i for 20 percentage of the clock uh, clock period and low for 80 percentage here duty cycle is different here duty cycle is 50 percentage okay now we will have to start with the uh, 50 percentage duty cycle okay so we know that uh, once again i will explain okay that max frequency calculation in order to calculate the maximum frequency uh, we have to find out the paths between the register right here this is one path from q0 to d1 one path and q1 to d1 second path and q2 to d3 third path and if you look at here q1 to d0 this is one path and q3 to d0 this another path now we have to calculate the delay produced by each and every path in those paths which is having the maximum maximum delay that will going to and uh, that will going to fix the uh, frequency of this circuit right okay and one more thing here if you look at the clock in this clock 
here we are having the direct connection but in the for the second flop we are having inverted flop so we have to consider this q also right okay now uh, we'll uh, proceed with the part a okay for part a where can i write? okay so clock width uh, width should be less than or equal to uh, what uh, flip flop delay plus propagation delay produced by combo logic uh, plus setup time of destination flop uh, minus skew right this is a general formula we know that one this is a uh, uh, minimum clock period uh, calculation now what is the uh, now uh, here we are having totally four paths right here to here here to here and uh, here to here right between these two uh, these two what is the delay nothing right combo logic is zero and propagation delay is first path the flip flop delay is what how much 14 right 14 so yeah we have to consider maximum while adding so 14 and the combo logic delay is 0, zero. Uh, plus setup time of a uh, destination flop is how much 6 nanosecond uh, plus uh, sorry minus skew right here we are having positive skew so positive skew means we have to subtract right so the delay of inverter gate right 2 why we are taking 2 this is a minimum right ok so this is the delay uh, produced by this path what is this uh, 14 plus 6 20 20 minus 2 18 ok we have calculated this path and uh, the second path is from here to here right this is also one more path right now the source path sorry source clock is getting late and destination path is uh, say sorry destination clock flop is this one yeah inverter, is uh, inverter yeah for this flop we are getting delayed one delayed clock now what kind of skew is this destination flop is this one now negative skew uh, negative skew right okay for this path i will calculate the delay this uh, flip flop propagation delay is 14 plus combo delay is how much uh, 